Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's garbage day. <laughs> Y'all will not believe what Candace is doing right before I turn the oh, camera. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Candace is doing the craziest dance I've ever seen. <laughs> hey, Candace. Hey, Lonnie. <laughs> I own the world's worst thesaurus. Not only is it rubbish, but it's also rubbish. That's horrible. It is. As a matter of fact, I should probably that cut that out. That goes with garbage day, though. It does. It, tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So what if I don't know what Armageddon means? It's not the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay. Here's a question for you, though. How does NASA organize a party? How? They plan it. <laughs> <laughs> My partner told me to... My partner told me I had to stop acting like a flamingo. So I had to put my foot down. <laughs> <laughs> Those are pretty good this morning. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's a uh, Tuesday morning. It's garbage day in the sense that you put the cans out. Tonight. Yeah. It's garbage. Yeah. Tonight's garbage night. Right. And Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. <laughs> We went all out this year. Yeah. <laughs> we had pop tarts for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> we do have a. Um, we usually don't do that much for Valentine's Day. Because our anniversary is in two days. Right, and yeah. we do have something planned for that. Yeah. So, um, Tuesday morning. Oh, we are going to pull some orders, of course, this morning, and then after that. We are going to show y'all a few finds from the weekend. Um, yes, from garage sales on Saturday and estate sales on Sunday. Not a lot of stuff, but we got a few. Uh, we got some, got cool, some cool stuff, though. Yep. Cool stuff to add to the old scheduled listings there. Yeah. How's that going anyway? Uh, <laughs> we got something. We got a $20 item dropping in eight minutes, I think. Yep. Yeah. We do. And then, then the cupboard's bare after that, so we need to fill up our scheduled listing yeah. thing. We also need to come up with a way to... We're thinking about doing like a um, like a Google Sheets online that because it, it updates automatically when you add to it. So we could both have it open and um, just type in our... Our, on our slot that we've basically used. yeah for the scheduled times i don't it's not like i'm making it i think we're making it sound a little complicated or yeah. what but there's nothing to it it's like slot open or not right so, right looking forward to seeing how that goes after like doing it for a few weeks so looking forward to see how it affects uh weekend sales too yeah definitely all you, right you ready to pull the orders let's go uh, one other thing we're going to be doing today is uh we're going to do our third Candace packing and order thing today. So level three, I guess. Yeah. And it's probably going to be a card. We get asked that a lot, so that kind of works out. Yeah. All right, so we have nine orders, like 12 or 13 items. Okay. Um, the first thing is on Five Delta. It's a Superman DIY pop. Five Deltas. Oh, that's one of the ones you paint yourself? Yeah. Five Delta Superman DIY. Okay. Is there a B? Yeah, B. Sorry. It is B. Okay, we have two of them there. That's cool. Did I mean? What are you supposed to do it with anyway? Like Molly paints her models with the little acrylic paints. Yeah. I was wondering if maybe they like included something, Markers but I guess. Or something but like I guess that, that would yeah. dry out. Um, that's all for eight ninety nine. Okay. Two Charlie, a lot of four CPUs. Oh yeah, that was a uh, throw-in that Beverly gave us on our first buy. Two what, Charlie? Yeah. This might be it. I'm kind of a dummy. I didn't uh, put a label on this box. I'll, I'll probably assume that, oh, I'll remember what that is. And then five minutes later, I have no idea. Open that up. What is that? No, that ain't it. <laughs> Wait, what is that? <laughs> oh, that goes to a computer over there. Okay. Oh, that goes to that computer I was sitting on top of, actually. All right, this... 
Maybe this is it. <laughs> Let's try again. I always, I, I just about always write on the outside of the box what it is. Yeah. I just failed to this time. I think that's it. Babe. Okay, yeah, that's the CPUs. Okay, so those sold for $30. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, two Pentium 2s and two Pentium 3s with heat sinks and all that stuff, fans. All right. The next order has two items, four Delta Frontline Heroes Nurse B. Four Nurse, Delta. Nurse Four Four Delta Hero B. Frontline. Okay, got them. And in the chest drawer, a Tammy magazine. Chest drawer, Tammy mag. Yeah, you just showed it to me yesterday because you were like, hey, somebody bought this. Yep. What's new, Tammy? Look, it's a little magazine. It's like a doll. Look, it's, it says printed in Japan on the back. Or just it's says for, Japan. Uh, like Barbie fashion doll. Okay. $14.98 for those two items. Alrighty. Five Delta Zendaya Pop. Five Delta Zendaya? Yeah. And, and what is that? That's from Spider Man. It's an actress, Zendaya. Yeah, I know. I, I thought I'd heard of her before. Yeah. And it says Zendaya. And it's five Delta. And it says Zendaya on it. Yeah, the pop number is nine two four. Oh, it says MJ. Oh yeah, MJ. That's her name in the movie. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say Zendaya anywhere on it. Okay. You just assumed I would know. No, I didn't. Huh? I didn't think you would know because since it just says MJ. No, I had. I forgot no. it wasn't on the pop. When I saw MJ, I thought it was Michael Jackson. <laughs> I didn't know, or Michael Jordan. That's uh, the only MJs I know. Or Mary Jane. Yeah. Isn't that the name of the girl in the first movies? What first movies? Spider Man, Mary Jane. Uh, yeah, that sounds familiar. It actually it does. You I, mean from like way back? Yeah. Okay. All right. The first, the next order has two pops, both on ten Charlie. Um, Joker A and Penguin B. 10 Charlie, Joker A, and Penguin B. Okay, I've got Penguin B right here. And then Joker A. So Joker is 64. Yeah. These are, these are art series, by the way. And then Penguin is 63, correct? Yep. $24.98 for those two. Okay. In the smallest drawer, a Dirk Nowitzki card. Oh, okay. Candace, you're going to be packing that. All right, Dirk, you ready? I'll just put them there. We're only pulling one, though. I need to sleeve and top load that. All right, All right. Um, uh, we have a card on four Bravo A81. Four Bravo A81. Okay, Ryan Ludwig. Yeah. Bat card. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Four ninety nine for that. Look what a deal! You get a real piece, a piece of, of authentic piece of wood. MLB wood <laughs> for five dollars. That seems like a decent deal. All right, another card on nine Bravo Z two. Z two nine Bravo. It's a, uh, prison promo card. Okay, it's probably going to be another situation where I have a stack of them. Holy cow. Some of these shells are getting a little, a little tight. Z2, only pull one. <laughs> I have it on, on here on the silver sticky note. Silver Surfer? Yep, Silver Surfer. That's okay. $6.99 on that. Alrighty. All right, and then our next order is two sets of the Jedi Knights trading card game lot of cards. Okay, yeah, I actually already pulled this because the customer bought them, then requested an invoice. an invoice for combined shipping, which I did. So those two together is $65.98 plus shipping on top. Okay, awesome. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started, and then... Uh, when we get to a card or two, maybe Candace will do a couple of cards. Then uh, I'll call you over. Okay. All right, Candace, you ready? I'm ready. All right. Now, I just want to let you know the way I do it or the way you're going to do it now is not the way most people do this. 
Okay. So it's just that, the way I like. like most of the things we do. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Dirk, Dirk Nowitzki is up. And these are all three separate orders. I double checked. Okay. So just grab you a piece of paper. Oh. You got to do your old fold. I, sh I showed Candace the fold okay, a minute ago. So I just line it up at the bottom. Yep. Fold it over. And just keep all your, your creases tight because we want to keep the card tight in there. Yeah. But a lot of people like to use painter's tape on that opening on the open end and then, and then just then you could just drop it and then i think that's a that's an okay method i really think that but i prefer to do this and then making a little pocket and making it like super tight and now the card can't get out there's no adhesive involved and a little piece of tape and a little piece of tape that's it and drop got, it in got blue ink on me for some reason all righty and we don't have to weigh these, right? Well, I we don't because I know a single card in a top loader ships at two ounces. I don't weigh them unless I get like two or three cards and then I'll weigh it. Yeah. There's no, with using these kind of mailers, there's no way you're going to be under two ounce rate. Just impossible. All right. So do you put a piece of tape on here? I do. I put a little piece of tape just to lock that down. I never trust... I never trust built-in adhesive. Like that? Yeah. And leave the tear thing? Yeah. Okay. I, I never trust adhesive on one of those things. All right. And then come to the computer. You're all set. All you got to do is change the uh, ounces. To two? Yeah. And you'll see. They, they actually went up on this. It used to be 81 cents for two ounces. Now it's 84 cents. And then uh, you can just print her out. I, this is supposed to be more difficult, but actually this was not. It's just different. <laughs> oh, it prints it different, huh? Uh, yeah, it does. It prints it sideways. Okay. You're right. That's it. Look, look. Whenever you do, well, look. Whenever you do the tear off on the dyno, mm -hmm. you want to do kind of like a. Like a whipping action and tears. I don't know. Whip it good. Something like that. I don't know what you call Are we that. Going just like right here with it, leaving the eBay open. I don't. I don't. I just, just cover. slap it in the middle. I don't care. Okay. It is weird how they put eBay right there. Yeah, because it's so big. Yeah, it is. There we go. All right. That one's done, and uh, I guess you could do the other two off camera. Okay. I think they probably get it. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. Huh? Yeah, I know, I know. But hey, it's one of the things you got to do now, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, if you had to ship a card, I think you probably could. Oh, yeah. There you go. I could. All right, Candace did want to weigh this card that has the bat piece in it. Oh, it is. That's a three ounce Raider. Yeah. 2.3. Okay. As sketchy as a eBay standard envelope is, I don't try and fudge on the weights there's enough other things that could go wrong with them all right y'all packages are away including can candace did pack all including three cards <laughs> no including those cards yes packed i up. packed all three cards all by myself how'd that feel easy yeah it was yeah but we're gonna do well every day we'll do something a little different okay. won't necessarily be hard but yeah. just, just get you exposed variety. to different different item types of yeah. shipping like even if it's clothing one day or something, right? Like yeah. it might be a poly bag ship or something. Who knows? Because that happens. But uh, yeah, go take it away, Candace. All right, so we're ready to show y'all what we picked up over the weekend. This is again Saturday garage sales and Sunday estate sales. All right, this was from an estate sale we came across on Saturday. Like we just happened to see the sign, and it was a good sale. Um, Lonnie found these shoulder pads. They're very clean. Did you pay the 10 for them? I paid 10, yes. Yeah, but you can see they're like very clean. Yeah, they're in great condition. Yeah. I I don't know exactly. I'm thinking they're probably somewhere around $80 or so. I mean, 70 to 100 I, I mean, think the kid got hit once and he's like, uh-uh. Hell I'm no. Out. I'm out because I see just a couple of little scuffs. He play, Today he plays baseball, it's rumored. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know. But yeah, I paid 10 bucks for that. Then this was a little bit of a stretch here, well, I thought. We, we found this at an estate sale on Sunday, and we were like, do you have, because it's a, it's for rainbow um, accessories, and we're like, do you have the rainbow? And they're like, no, somebody bought it. I'm like, 
why didn't they just put it all together and price it i don't know but this is all accessories and this has been used but everything else looks new look there's even like a little scent liquid scent stuff in here this is for this is like a hard floor kit or something i guess yeah, rain jet you ever heard of that model it's for the rain jet i don't know we don't have everything with it obviously we just have this part yeah this is the accessory kit i guess was sold separately i don't know we paid half of 55 so that would be we paid uh 27 27 50 yeah yep. which is a lot but if you look at the comps on this uh I, I i thought it was worth it for sure all right this is a metro tech chemicals car care kit we actually have two of them i looked it up because they have the name of oh first place finish car care system and it's got all these different see like this is vinyl and leather this is car wash concentrate yeah water-based tire dressing it's got fabric cleaner yeah yeah and we got two of these and then little light pads and stuff too yeah so we have two sets and we paid five dollars each for them yep yeah it was half price today so it was five the outside of the box the, the cases is a, is rough and dirty but and they, they might clean up oh yeah we'll they'll see. clean up i think it's just surface dirt kind of stuff these i found at a church sale on saturday they're um puffer fish cups like you put the straw in there from carnival it's like drink of the day type thing yeah and um i comped them because i'm like that looks different and they're 15 dollars a piece comped that's nuts yeah man people like the carnival specialty cups and stuff you know we've sold turvis cups before we've sold lots of yeah. we sold lots of carnival stuff period like including the photo frames photo frames yeah so. the porthole photo frame things yeah so those were at 25 cents each i picked these up for 50 cents and then at the same sale, I got this LSU Tarvis cup. It was $2. I may end up keeping it. I haven't decided. I'm going to look up comps. Cause yeah. I, it's got a really cool graphic on it. Yeah, it's cool. So we have some more stuff to show y'all. All right, so we picked these up at um, an estate sale. Um, cookbooks, regional, except for these two. You know, I like these little um, like mid-century type cooking pamphlets. They're both by Crisco. I'll probably uh, lot those together. Yeah, those are cool. And then, um, of course, regional cookbooks. Um, I always like to pick those up. So mercy, it's good. Oh, we oh we also found some from like Charleston. There's like four of them in here that are from South Carolina, like Junior League. So I'm gonna lot those together. Um, the the woman running the sale told me that's where the lady of the house was from. Lady of the house. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds so weird. Yeah. Putting on the grits. Yep. La Bouche Creole Magic Cookbook of Junior League of uh, Alabama. Birmingham. Yeah. Yep. Bayou La Fouche. La Fouchette recipes from Bayou La Fouche. Now that's Louisiana. Yeah. That's from the Women's Club of Thibodeau, Louisiana. That's cool. So these are all a dollar a piece. And then at a different estate sale, um, I paid up on these. She had cookbooks marked $6 on the full price days. So we were there half off. They were three. And I know this is a good cookbook. I'll get at least 30 for it. We've sold, we've actually sold this one before. This is a restaurant that started in, did it start in Baton Rouge? Don Seafood. Um, no, check this out. It shows um, his, oh, this one doesn't have it. He um, he opened a, a place in Henderson, Louisiana. Okay. Yeah, and then, but then he opened Don Seafood and Steakhouse here. So this little book, I've sold this before and it had like cracks in the binding and like the cover and back were all stained. This one does have some stains. That one's in pretty good shape. And I, the one that had the cracks, well, I got 34. So I'm expecting to get maybe 35 or 40 for this one. Nice. I've never seen this one before. That's why I picked it up. I thought it was interesting. It's, uh, it's called a French Connection cookbook. I guess it shows um, oh. French and Cajun, but look. Look at that. These are some really, really good restaurants here in Louisiana. Antoine's, Antoine's. Galatars. Yeah, a lot. Yep. yep. So I thought that was an interesting book. Three dollars for both of those. That is a translator. Looks like an iPod to me. It, it works in conjunction with your your phone. And uh, I mean, I was kind of close on whether to get this or not because I think I can only get, I could probably get like thirty bucks for it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did pay ten. So you talk into it and it translates? Yeah. Oh. I paid ten dollars for it. So it's see instant translator. Yeah, that's cool. It's always better if you say translator instead of translator. 
Well, yeah, think. it's spelled O R. So. Yeah. All right, this. I oh, can, what a I deal! I found this. F look, fifty cents. This was on late, kind of late Saturday, at an estate sale, and it was sitting on the table. And it said fifty cents, and I always look in bags, like always. So you had already walked by it, huh? I mean, do you have to like increase? <laughs> this is like this fish story is getting really, really out of hand now. Look what I found for fifty cents. Look at that. Yep. Looks like it's in good condition too. Well, the the hinge is kind of. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, it's not. Never mind. Yeah. Scratch that. I see the crack in the hinge yeah. right there. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Never mind. It's not in good condition. Yeah, but for fifty cents. I mean, no, it may, it's no. It it'll be a good we're deal. Sell it as is. You know. Let's see what game is. I don't. Did I oh, look I, at the game? I didn't know there was a game in there. Uh, what is that? Ace card. DSI compatible. It it looks like a Aftermarket. boot. It looks bootleg or something. Yeah, I know. It's weird. Yeah. Ace card two. DSI. I've never heard of that in my life. Okay. I'll have to look that up. But yeah, we paid fifty cents for the bootleg card, the system in the bag. Yeah, it's got a cool case on it though. I mean that. The Nerf case, man. Those are yeah, I've never seen those before. That's crazy. Indestructible. Yeah, I need that for my phone. Does that have a stylus? It does. It even has a freaking stylus. Mm -hmm. Don't have the charger there. Right. So. That, and that's what Lonnie said when we went up there. He's like, there's a, there's this in here. Did, did, is it 50 cents? And she said, yeah, there's no charger. And we're like, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we did make sure that they knew because they were, they were really nice. And we looked in here, too. There was nothing in there. Except for, I don't know, I guess these go to a camera. I saw these in there. They look um, like knobs. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah. All right, at the same sale as this, um, found this cool little Japanese camera. What was the brand? Yashika? Yashika. Yeah, they, they, uh, they, they're a pretty, yeah, they're, they're a good brand. It's a, uh, that's an eight millimeter, that's an old school eight millimeter camera. Look, there's a button. I'm trying to find it because when I picked it up to show you, I pushed it. Is it right here? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You can hear it running and then show them how you wind it. I don't know how. Right there, you flip that up. Oh, and then just turn it? Turn it and it winds it. Which way? Uh, clockwise, I believe. Oh, okay. You feel a resistance? Yeah. And then you set it back down and then that's how they took the uh, Zapruder film there, basically. And I, I'm not even, it's weird though, because I'm, I'm not even, I think the lens might be here and this is the viewfinder on this side and you un, you take that off. To, I'm not positive though. I'm, maybe not. So what did we end up paying for this? Like $2. Okay. I thought that was cool. I've sold a few of those in the past. Yeah. What do they normally go for? Do you remember? I don't remember. It might be a 20, 20 to thirty dollar thing. Thing okay. magic. At the same sale as these two things, we picked up some Stephen King books, um, a few paperbacks. Oh, that's not. We thought this was an interesting. No, no, no. I bought that separate on purpose. Yeah, that was an interesting looking book. The Encyclopedia of Monsters. I looked it up. It has. It had enough value to buy it. We only paid twenty five cents for the paperbacks, and we had that the two hardbacks that were I think fifty cents a piece. Okay. Because we, look, our total bill going out of this sale, we bought the the shoulder pads we showed y'all. Mm -hmm. We bought this, this, and the books. However, it broke down. It was like $13.50 or something? It's $13.25. Yeah. And 10 of that was the, uh, the, shoulder pad. the shoulder pads. So this stuff right here was $3.25. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty awesome. Yep. All right, and then... Um, <coughs> At the estate sale where I got these two cookbooks, we wound up buying this. Yeah, Cup it was writer. it was a little bit of wheeling and dealing at the checkout. Um, they had 125 on it originally. And we were there for half price day on Sunday, so it would have been 62. I thought that the 125 was probably fairly close to what the e actual eBay price would be, so I didn't want to come in at half. Right. That's just not enough. Especially for this heavy it is having to pack it. Everything. The packing on that is actually not that bad because of the case it's in. Okay. But yeah, it is. There is something to it at least, you know. Yep. And um, so we got up to the checkout. Us and the the lady that runs that estate sale company, she has always been super cool. 
Um, she is like as long as you don't like really try to put it to her. Well, even if you try and put it to her, because one time we had some back and forth on a bunch of nutcrackers we bought, high end nutcrackers. Mm -hmm. That took a little wheel in the dealing, but she appreciates it when we like she knows it. She knows we're good customers, but I make it real fast. Yeah. Like I don't say, "Hey, hey, you know the typewriter in that room she's over there." She, she knows by this was the last sale we went to on Sunday. At that point, this hadn't sold at half off. She knows it's probably not going to sell. Right. You know. Right, but, but they're busy though. Like that's what I like to keep in mind at estate sales. They are busy. So I, whenever I do, I don't often do it. Do do that. Right. But when I do, I like to make it very direct, very clear cut very easy not wishy-washy or mushy and, and not when they have a line of 20 people needing to check out right <laughs> so like we were up and they had like six people behind us waiting to check out and so i said hey there's a typewriter back there it's i got 125 on it today would be 6250 will you take 40 and she said yes and i said go ahead and pay her candace i'll go grab it yep and and that was a wrap yep. and, and like made it nice and fast and didn't take any extra time that's yep. the way i approached it yeah and uh and now that same technique it's at a lot of estate sales they they will just like sometimes they just will not budge on the no. price unless you're buying maybe a lot of things right um but she knows we've shopped with her before and yeah she, she knows we've got to make money too and she yeah. she res she respects the way we, that we respect her too yeah. right so it's it's a good relationship yeah she she probably doesn't even look at it as a relationship, but we do. <laughs> it's probably kind of one-sided. <laughs> well, that's everything we found um, today. So I'm I think I'm gonna get to listing cookbooks. Why not? Yeah, we got plenty. We got we have our choice of we have a cornucopia of things we can list now. Yeah. Between all the buying, we did some good buying over the You're weekend. You're not allowed to list this until jury duty's over. Why? So I don't have to pack it. Oh. <laughs> It'll pro it'll sell way before jury duty happens. Okay. <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm delisting it. I am. Unless we get sequestered, I should be home at night. At night to, right. to pack. We might need to move Anlin to two day or something. <laughs> right. Right. It is later in the afternoon. I've been working on I think I listed like five records. And there there's a lot of like Ten to fifteen dollar records there. I listed one for twenty. There might I've only listed five though, so there might be some more gems in here. These are the ones that I paid eighty six dollars for forty three, two dollars a piece. And one thing I will say about those records, I had a lot of records y'all might remember a couple months ago that I bought from Guy, and they were in nice condition. These are better. <laughs> these are believe it or not, these are better condition than that. The jackets are all almost perfect. The vinyl, some of the vinyl is like, it looks like it was just printed, just pressed. So, pretty happy with those. And they're fun. There, there hadn't been anything like super valuable yet, though. I'm hoping that we're going to come across some good stuff. But if we don't, even if I, even if I average like $10 to $12 a record, that's still a good buy. Oh, yeah. Because that's what, that'd be $430. Yeah. And it's nice light work, easy. Mm -hmm. And then I am mixing in some video games. And every now and then from behind me, we're back to back <laughs> listing. I hear Candace go, yes, first printing. <laughs> I mean, I've been listing cookbooks and first printing is not that big a deal, but I have had some, the cookbooks we picked up at the estate sale on Saturday, man scores yeah let me uh like these prices um these are the prices of what i've listed today 20 40 15 15 20 20 25 30 i'm about to list another one that's probably 25 or 30. and those are all those aren't bev by those are those are from the estate sale on saturday and then the two estate sale on sunday so most of those are a dollar dollar buys yes so those are i mean they don't like when she's reading off 25, 20, 15, whatever, that might not sound like that big of a deal, but for the money we have in it, it's they're, it's damn near pure profit. Right, almost. and they're fast and easy to list and they go media mail. So, yeah. yeah, no, they're, they're great. I like them. Yeah. And we are doing, Candace did version one of a spreadsheet. 
<laughs> but it, this is the what do you prototype <laughs> this is like the alpha version i think yeah i need to clean it up i'm gonna go in and do some things to it later so i went in and i did the days of the week and then i put our times and then so we have our time in this column and then the price we listed it for over here yep and then like so i've been going on the 30s just to so i could work down here and i think i kind of like that mm -hmm just to have my own workspace to so I can view my own workflow, you know? And this is live editing, so I have it open on my screen too, so we can see each other, what what we're working on, like which spot we're taking, and yeah. so we don't do the same spot. Not that it would be a big deal, but we just thought it was cool. But I, I'm gonna, I wanna clean it up and then have totals, daily totals and weekly totals. So we can see if we wanna move, like work, like, make a, one of the day upcoming days a little stronger if the listings are weak that day than we can or whatever yeah so he's he's gonna try to go in the night and make it where it automatically totals for us right um the the number of listings and the dollar amount every day right and then we'll see see where we want to go from yeah. there because like the, the whole point though is to have consistent listing throughout the week throughout the day and throughout the week yeah so, so right now we're scheduling um, from eight o'clock a.m. to eleven o'clock p.m. Right, and then Pacific time. And then you could see like I did a few lower value video games, and we've had we've had I've had some lower value records here already. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna move some of those lower value video games over to tomorrow, and then I'm gonna grab some boots or maybe a few other things that are a little higher value to today after I finish doing a few more video games. Yeah. So. Yeah, just something we're playing around. It's kind of fun doing that differently yeah, like that. Yeah, I like that. it. Yeah, I do too. So, uh, yeah, I think I think that's going to be a wrap for today though, y'all. Yep. We're going to uh we, we're going to sit in here and list for another hour and a half or so, and we will see y'all again tomorrow. I'll say I'll go ahead. And, well, maybe depending on when the, if this video publishes on the weekend, it might be 2 days, but we'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. Bye.